Now let's move on to our next story. The Sonos Beam comes with that typical elegant understated design of Sonos. Fits on most TV units, tables, not that wide functions like any other Sonos speaker. So it's besides being a soundbar attached to your TV, it is a Wi-Fi speaker. It is a room to room speaker, works with the Sonos app. Sound as always, that Sonos sound signature is absolutely fantastic, incredible. The only part that we thought it really missed out on is that it does not have Dolby Atmos. It's priced at about 43 Sonos Beam has confused us. It does a few things which are significantly impressive while also lacking some of the very significant features that premium soundbars today are focusing on. And today, after clearing up the confusion, we are here to answer a very important question for you. Is its premium price worth your hard-earned money? Let's find out. The Sonos Beam, like a typical Sonos product, is subtle, elegant and understated with its design. It has a matte black top and bottom with mesh all around the sides. The front has a Sonos logo and the top has touch-sensitive buttons. The soundbar does not get too wide and can comfortably sit on any TV unit or table, which is great. Inside. It packs four full range drivers, one tweeter, three passive radiators, five class D amplifiers, arranged in such a way that the sound coming out fills the entire room easily. It has a single HDMI port on the back which is supposed to go into the HDMI arc port in the TV for the audio to come out through it. Most of the new TVs have it. Sonos is also kind enough to include an optical to HDMI converter in the box for the TVs that do not have an HDMI arc port. It also has a power port along with an Ethernet port and the Sonos join button. Yes, since it is from Sonos, it won't simply be a soundbar. It is also an excellent Wi-Fi speaker. It can join the existing Sonos system easily while being set up with the Sonos app or with the press of the join button. It can connect to Wi-Fi, but the users also have the option of connecting an Ethernet cable for the fastest connection. The Beam also has support for Spotify Connect and AirPlay 2, so the Spotify users and Apple Music listeners can easily cast their tunes to the soundbar. But how does it sound once everything is up and running? One word, incredible. The humble dimensions of the soundbar can fool anyone. The sound that comes out of it defies expectations set by them. Sonos has managed to give the sound both weight and scale. The volume gets immensely high, the sound stage is amazing. It can easily fill the room at 50% volume. It is not only wide, but has an amazing level of depth, which can immerse the viewer easily into the content that is being watched or the music that is being streamed. The bass is strong. Every little thumb can be deeply felt. Dialogues and vocals are crystal clear too. But the great sound cannot suffice for what it lacks. It does not have Dolby Atmos support. Hence, there are well-defined limits to how immersive the beam can get. The soundstage is wide, but it cannot be extended to the entire width of the room. And despite what the beam lacks, it is priced at 43999 This raises the confusing question. Some soundbars offer Dolby Atmos and are available for a lesser price. So why should a person pay this much for the beam? The answer is rather simple. If the immersive sound is the goal of the user at the end of the day, any other Dolby Atmos soundbar would be the better choice. But if a user wants the better sound itself rather than it being immersive, along with the ability of the Beam to connect to Wi-Fi and stream music, the Sonos Beam would be worth their hard-earned money. That then was the Gadget 360 show for this week, but we've got an incredible lineup of stuff next week. I'll see you then.